Good morning, Shavua Tov, Boker Tov. I hope that you and everyone dear to you is doing well. In today's halacha, we're going to talk about the Kiddush. The question is, who is obligated to say the Kiddush on Friday night? So we should know that technically speaking, one person will say the Kiddush for everyone. And even if that person happens to be Ashkenaz and you are Sephardic or vice versa, then you are Yotzei Dehova, which means that you fulfill the obligation by answering Amen to the Kiddush of that person. As long as you understand what he's saying, you have to understand the Ashkenaz accent or vice versa to understand the Sephardic accent in order to be Yotzei Dehova. Now, beside that, you should not say Baruch Hu, Baruch Shemo. When the person says Baruch Atah Hashem, do not say Baruch Hu, Baruch Shemo. You only answer Amen. Who has the obligation for the Kiddush? Men and ladies. Now, even though Shabbat is a mitzvah, which means that the mitzvah of Kiddush comes from the word Zachor, which means that it's a positive commandment to mention the Kiddush, to mention the Shabbat uh, by saying the Kiddush. And we have a ruling that usually the mitzvah that is bound to time, ladies are exempt. However, Shabbat is different. Why? Because zachor v'shamor v'dibur echad ne'emaru. The mitzvot, the positive mitzvot and the, and the negative mitzvot are both linked together by zachor v'shamor. And since the ladies are obligated to keep the mitzvot lo ta'ase, so the... Uh, all the Isurim, they are obligated to keep on Shabbat. They also have the obligation to perform all the mitzvot said the positive commandments. And this applies for both the Kiddush of the night and the Kiddush for the day. Can the lady say the Kiddush for a man? The answer is yes. Technically speaking, she could. And even if she did the Kiddush beforehand, just like if the man said the Kiddush by the Amidah, he could say the lady again at home for his wife. Why? Because Kol Israel Arevin Nezelazeh, we are all together and we are all guarantor for each other and this is why we could say the kiddush for each other but we should keep in mind that a lady should only say the kiddush for her close uh, family and not for other people otherwise it would have an issue of tzeniut now children cannot say the kiddush and even if the both parents said already the kiddush in the amida so they say baruch atah hashem mekadesh shabbat which means that the kiddush on the wine now is only midrabanan rabbinical it doesn't matter the child cannot say the Kiddush until he becomes Bar Mitzvah. If he becomes Bar Mitzvah that night, meaning that, meaning that Friday night, then you will have to wait until it's actually nightfall for the child that became Bar Mitzvah to say the Kiddush because that's when he actually became an adult. Now, if he became Bar Mitzvah, even though he doesn't have what we call the simaning, signs of puberty, meaning that we don't know if he has those signs of puberty, we believe on the Hazakah that because of his age, that he's not turned he turned 13, that he should be able to say the Kiddush for both his parents and his family. Last but not least, a Somme, which means a person that is blind, could say the Kiddush because he still has the obligation just like everybody else. So he could be saying the Kiddush and we are Yotzei Dehova from him. Have an amazing day.